there guys and welcome back to Stevie's Drunken World. And today we're reviewing Coors Light. The most refreshing beer in the world apparently, or as it says on the label. Um, now this is coming in at 4% uh, ABV in the UK and 1.3 UK units. Uh, I have had this before, um, I've had it in pubs and stuff a few times because it does tend to be one of the cheaper drinks you can get. Uh, especially in sort of local pubs and stuff, but we're just going to immediately I'll just show you the top of it there. If you can see it in this sort of lighting. It's uh, Born in the Rockies, Coors Light. Uh, and once again, it just has the world's most refreshing beer. So, crack that open there. There we go there. Right, so um, let's give it a pour here. Uh, my recollection of the taste of this is not to be mean to it sort of thing, but I do recall it was quite refreshing actually. That's it's coming in a very, sort of very clear. Oh, it's a lot clearer than it was before. Um, my recollection of the taste of it was quite literally <sighs> bottled water that's malty. That's kind of the taste that I was getting from it. Um, but anyway, so we're going to give um, Coors Light a bit of a taste. Here we go. Yeah, it's like malty water. It is very, very refreshing and I do love it. It is a nice taste, but there isn't much of a taste. It just tastes really, really like malty water. That is the pure taste that I'm getting here. There's nothing There's nothing jumping out. Like I'm not getting a taste of a fruit or a taste of like barrels. Some, I'm not getting any taste. It's not like, because um, some of them have quite a whiskey taste. I've noticed. Some beers have quite a taste of like whiskey. So it tastes like, like, like it tastes like, you know, like you sometimes get the barrel flavors and stuff like that. Um, yeah, no, like you get, you get sometimes you get an IPA, something like that. But in this, no, it's it is literally just malty water. That's that is the taste I'm getting from this. Yeah, nothing overly exciting about it. I, I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give this an even five out of ten. There is nothing bad about it, but there's also nothing good about it. It is a really middle. Quite a cheap beer, you know. It's it's easy going. It's a nice taste. It's refreshing. Um, I would say though, one thing about this is, if you're getting it in the bottles, I, for example, have got this big case of it here, and like I would definitely say, keep it cool. Put it in the fridge. Even depending on what your freezer settings are, shove it in the freezer for half an hour before you drink it, because the colder this is, the nicer it tastes. Like genuinely. Um, it's the same with most beers, but this one, it, it brings out more of a taste, more of an intense taste. Um, makes it a bit more of a memorable beer, a memorable beer, if it is really cold. Because if it's a room temp, if you put it, you know, sitting in your room, sitting in a living room, sitting in a cupboard, something like that, it's not got the same sort of memorability to it. It's not as quite as memorable. Um, so that's my only recommendation for that, for you to enjoy it. And I personally think as well, it tastes a lot better just out of the bottle rather than pouring it into a pint glass. I would definitely just go for a swig in the bottle. That was the dregs, so not quite as nice. But yeah, that is everything today for the viewer of Coors Light. Uh, if you guys did enjoy it, please do give a thumbs up down below so I know that somebody is enjoying these videos uh, and hopefully one will be seen by the right person. Just, you know, someone looking to try a new beer and they want to see what, you know, a fresh faced 20 year old man from Scotland thinks of the beer before they drink it. I don't know why you would, but if you are that man, if you are that woman, that individual, please do let me know that you are kind of enjoying these videos. So yeah, and if there's anything you want me to review, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm very open to suggestions and ideas. Uh, I'm gonna be trying wine, ciders, <laughs> wine, cider, bitter, ale, uh, literally anything you can imagine, spirits as well. I'm gonna be trying most of them on this channel. And if you want me to give them a try, let me know. So yeah, so thank you guys very much for watching and I shall see you guys next Thursday. Peace.